I'm Dr. Anil Pillai. I'm a consultant neonatologist uh, and I work in NMC um, Specialty Hospital, Elaine. The focus of my specialty is really looking after babies born before the time that they're due, right from 24 weeks of pregnancy when the baby is really only 400, 500 grams in weight, um, right up to one month of age when babies present with problems. Newborns are vulnerable, so even a baby who's born at the time that they're due to, they're due to be born um, are vulnerable because they're small, their immune system or their ability to fight infection is not perfect sometimes. And then talking about preterm babies, they're not fully mature, they're not uh, fully formed, they need a lot of support. So you're really trying to simulate what happens inside the mother's uterus, outside in the artificial world. One of the topics I want to talk about today is um, neonatal jaundice. Jaundice uh, purely means yellowish discoloration of the skin and the eye. Now, there's a common misconception about jaundice in grown-up people compared to babies. In grown-up people like me, if I have jaundice, that means there's a problem with my liver and that's a disease. Whereas the babies that I deal with, all babies get some degree of jaundice or yellow discoloration. Now, this is a normal transition and the yellow substance is produced because the red pigment in the blood gets broken down. And in babies, they have more of it, it gets broken down quickly, hence there is more of the yellow substance. In 98% of the cases, no, people don't need to be worried about. It's something that will slowly fade away. And to be honest, um, now we know from studies and research that jaundice is not um, happened in newborn babies by um, accident. It's by design. Jaundice has got a role in protecting the babies. Now, the two percent of the babies that I said we might need to be worried about are the babies who might have other associated problems, other illnesses, other diseases, which can make the level of the jaundice go high. The two percent that are troublesome jaundice, uh, number one, um, the baby would really look yellow. Okay, that's, that's a, I know that's a very subjective statement, but um, it's striking. Um, even to the normal person's eye, the baby looks bright, fluorescent yellow. Number two, jaundice substance actually makes the babies go sleepy, so they don't feed very well. And when the jaundice gets worse and worse, they start becoming irritable, the, the, the pattern of the cry changes. And um, any baby who um, people are worried about looking bright yellow, even if they don't fall in the 2% or 3% or the troublesome jaundice, um, there are very simple tests that um, your doctor can do to measure the level of the jaundice. For example, a simple skin test where a light is put on the baby's skin measures the level of the jaundice to a reasonable accuracy and the doctor would be able to say to you whether this is normal jaundice or not. So maybe if you think the baby looks really yellow, a bit sleepy, not feeling great, maybe it's a good idea to get it checked out. Feeding is a good thing. If the baby is not feeding, that can actually exaggerate. Even normal jaundice can get worse if the baby is not feeding. Passing normal yellow stools is also a good thing in babies, and passing plenty of them, with sometimes with each feed, is also a very good thing. So these are very reassuring things. A baby who's feeding well, passing plenty of urine, passing plenty of stools, active and looking around, are good things. Anything that um, is not happening these, in, in, in this pattern might be something to be worried about. The treatment of jaundice includes treating the baby with a special light. So this is called phototherapy, photo as in light, therapy as in treatment. So we have special blue lights with certain frequency of um, the light waves that is um, uh, exposed to, onto the baby's skin. So we expose the baby completely and put the baby under the special light. That is in, again, 98% of the cases we can deal with jaundice in this way. Now, there are, again, a small percentage of babies who get very high jaundice for whatever reason. Um, and these babies um, cannot be purely dealt with this phototherapy because it takes time. In such babies, we do something called an exchange transfusion, which means you take the baby's blood out, simultaneously put fresh blood 
um, donor blood into the into the baby's body, thus getting the jaundice substance out of the out of the baby system. So these are the main lines of treatment for jaundice. But most of the time, it can be dealt with just light therapy. It's a very effective treatment. So in conclusion, if you think your baby looks very yellow, very jaundiced, if you think your baby um, is not feeding well, not passing urine, not passing stool, you're worried about your baby, get the baby to your neonatologist and get the baby checked out. Thank you.